welcome to Doug's Daily Delicacies, broadcast to you live from Sarasota's favorite gourmet food and wine store, As Good As It Gets, located at 49 South Palm Avenue here in downtown Sarasota. Today I'd like to talk to you about the art slash science of charcuterie, which is about prepared meats. Now, many things can be packaged today, but originally prepared meats were dried and salted. I'm not going to get into the history of it because it probably goes back 20,000 years with uh, strong but little Neanderthals shoving huge spears into a mammoth and eventually finding a way of salting it and keeping it good through the winter. And that's kind of the key to uh, curing meats is that it really comes from northern climates, uh, uh, northern Europe, northern Asia, North America, where they had to sort of uh, make hay while the sun shone uh, and then find a way of keeping food good for the winter so they could survive through it. The first example I'd like to show you is a beauty, and it is the Fraby Parmesan and Aspic Salami. What makes this special? They take a little bit of salt out of the salami. I'm not going to tell you that it's a low-salt salami, because then it wouldn't be a salami. But what they do is they trade that little bit of salt that they take out with this coating on the salami. The coating is made of Parmesan and a beautiful vegetable Aspic. The flavor is magnificent. It's probably best enjoyed with a wonderful Chianti Classico or perhaps a good Super Tuscan. Uh, again, the Fraby Parmesan and Aspic Salami, it outsells all four other salamis we have by a factor of 10 to 1. Second, <clears throat> these are Kiel Boquerones or white anchovies from Spain. Very different than the anchovies that you and I are accustomed to in the United States where we either get um, uh, a Caesar salad prepared with the black, salty, very fishy anchovies, or for those who have the taste for it, they come on pizzas quite often as well. These are not like that. They're not fishy and they're not salty. They're white, they're beautiful, they're packed in vinegar and oil, and they're best enjoyed with a nice, robust red wine like a Chardonnay and possibly a good Chablis. Moving into foul territory, I show you a Muscovy smoked duck breast. Again, a great example of cured meat. It is not cooked. It has been dried and salted, and it is absolutely delightful. This Muscovy duck breast is sliced thinly, served either on toast points, better yet, just by itself, and as I am so um, often uh, promoting, with a soft in the mouth, red wine, something like a Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot blend or a good Chateau Neuf de Pape uh, would be perfect with this. And if you're really ready for it, uh, the ideal wine would be a, a, a Margot, uh, preferably a Chateau Margot 2000. Now we hop to Jamon Iberico. Uh, most of you are familiar with uh, prosciutto hams from Italy, and that's where all the best prosciuttos come from. Here it is, good as it gets, we carry two prosciuttos, the Pio Tosini and the San Daniele. Most of us are familiar with prosciuttos, which is why I've chosen not to bring out a prosciutto to show you, but rather to show you a different kind of ham. This is Jamon Iberico de Bellota, the difference being that these are made in Spain with Spanish pigs, and what makes them Bellota quality ham is that the pigs are fed mainly on acorns. Now, neither you nor I would like an acorn, it's very bitter. But when it goes through a pig's digestive system, it turns the meat into a buttery, nutty, delicious, savory treat that is ethereally good. With a jamón ibérico de bellota, uh, which we have two different kinds of here for you, pata negra and cinco jotas, those are the two brands. Pata negra means black hoof, cinco jotas means five J's. Um, you have a selection of, of ibérico hams. I recommend a sheep's milk cheese, either a manchego, which is traditional. Uh, we prefer the dehesa, the organic dehesa with Syrah wine. Um, and you could also go with a mahon, uh, if you so wished, uh, to be accompanied by a great Rioja. Um, and of course, that as good as it gets, we can offer you a wonderful Rioja, probably one of the world's very best. We carry the 2006 Vega Cecilia Valbuena. But whatever you do, uh, a Chianti Classico or a good uh, uh, wonderful Spanish red wine would be my choice to accompany an Iberico ham. 
Next is smoked salmon. Uh, there are many types of smoked salmon uh, I've had the opportunity to try. Um, there is a Tasmanian smoked salmon. I had the good opportunity to live in Australia for five and a half years. I ate a lot of Tasmanian smoked salmon, delicious. Alaskan, uh, North American smoked salmon, or North Atlantic smoked salmon, delicious. Also North American, but on the other side uh, is your Alaskan wild sockeye smoked salmon, beautiful. Uh, of great fame in the Chaco Tree area is the Scottish, is the uh, Norwegian smoked salmon. Um, also absolutely peerless. But when you get to the very, very top, this is it. Uh, Scottish smoked salmon, most likely pulled from the River Tay, which is fed by the Loch Tay in Scotland. Um, as to accompaniments for this, I would actually tell you not to drink it with a wine. First of all, you should serve it on a toast point, accompanied with a little lemon juice, perhaps a few capers, and if you have the taste for it, but it's not necessary, some chopped red onion. The more flavor you get out of this beautiful smoked salmon, the better it will be. And I would suggest that you have a wee dram of a good Scottish single malt whiskey. The Macallan 12 or 18 year old would be just fine with this. Last, foie gras. Whole, beautiful duck McQuit foie gras from Rougy. It is packed in a glass terrine, somewhat difficult to open. You flip this catch, insert a butter knife in between the glass lid and this rubber gasket, which is vacuum sealing this, and you slowly twist it until the vacuum pops. Then let it come to room temperature to 75 degrees or so, and spread it on a neutral wafer. Something like a Bremner wafer is perfect. There's only one thing that you serve as an accompaniment, as a beverage to drink with foie gras, and that is a French Sauterne dessert wine. Uh, you can do ice wines, but uh, it's not the same. Um, and the two best sauternes we carry one of, which is the Chateau Rio Sec, uh, and then there is the Chateau de Chem. Either one works beautifully with this Rougi duck, whole duck, McQuit foie gras. So, um, we'd like to have you come in, sample our wares. It's the way that we are able to let you know that you have tasted the best. I can talk all day and write all day about any of these products, but you'll never know the best until you've put it in your mouth uh, and we love to sample our products here at As Good As It Gets. If you can't get here, we are on the web at www.asgoodasitgets.com. We're fully e-commerce enabled, but we'd much prefer you to come in, uh, have a cup of coffee, sit down with us, talk about what you like, and let us give you some samples that will blow your mind because what is as, as good as it gets resides in our store as good as it gets. Thank you, everybody. See you in the next chapter of Doug's Daily Delicacies.